A team of engineers and anaesthetists, excuse me, at Oxford University who have produced a new design. Here's our science correspondent Thomas Moore on ventilator solutions. OK, Andrew, here's the pneumatic component. Right, I'll take the red end. Uh, fire that up. So this could be the answer to the NHS's prayers, a prototype uh, ventilator so simple that thousands of them could be made within a fortnight. Shall I uh, put the compressed air in? Yes, please. Yep. yep. Fast enough to meet the expected surge in patients critically ill with coronavirus. Are you ready to intubate? Yeah, yeah. It's the first time it's been tested on a medical dummy. And it works, the chest rising and falling. All controlled by a jumble of wires and electronics for now, but Sony has offered to turn them into a mass-produced circuit board, 5,000 of them a week. If this is, something, this is something you can knock together in a weekend, mass-producing it will be dead simple. We can go from this little rat's nest to a very clean PCB circuit board in the space of a couple of days. A week ago, engineers and anaesthetists at Oxford University started to brainstorm the government's urgent call for more ventilators. Their stripped-back design lacks the bells and whistles of modern machines. Compressed air squeezes a bag in a box, blowing oxygen into the lungs reliably and safely. We have gone back to basics. Uh, we've gone back to uh, probably the state of ventilators 10 or 15 years ago, which is no big problem. We've also used components that we already have on the shelf. We've repurposed them. It can't break, there's no motors to burn out, there are no moving parts to snap. Uh, and it can be assembled very easily by anyone uh, with the plans that we're going to make freely available to any fabricator who we can get on board. It's simple, but it will keep people alive. COVID-19 has overwhelmed well-resourced hospitals in northern Italy, alarming doctors in Britain. The NHS has just over 8,000 ventilators. The government says 30,000 will be needed. Innovation is needed in ventilators and ventilator production. And so people, we're working very hard to work with the business community who are really uh, putting their fingers out on a whole variety of fronts to help build new ventilators and make sure that as many are available as possible. But, I mean, to be honest, there isn't a country in the world that has the stocks of ventilators that needed when you have a pandemic like this. The Oxford team pitched their design to the Cabinet Office on Monday. Two hospitals are on standby to test it on coronavirus patients. It might be simple, but in the coming weeks, it could be a lifesaver.